Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna do a couple Blackguard base builder bases to start things off. Then we're going to get into uh, some Doctor Terrence with. Uh, I'm gonna try the troop revival thing with uh, Doctor Caveman, but uh, but first, guys, but first, but first, this is a base that the chicken made. It's called the Zuka Maze. Most people don't like it, but I think it's actually pretty fun. So. Um, we're gonna dive into this here first, and big shout out to the commenter of the day, Arshan Benson. Uh, I spelt your name wrong, sorry about that R I threw in there. But, uh, here's the, here's the Zuka Maze, guys. So basically how it works, um, it, it's just like to see if you can get all your Zukas in here. So I like to use four boats, uh, to start things off with, just to save a little, uh, just because you're not gonna be, it's not big enough to do it with eight boats, so... Uh, four boats is definitely definitely the way to do it guys. Um, unfortunately, I put these mines up here on these on this rock launcher that don't need to be there at all um, So then next we're gonna flare up over this way and the idea is to try to stay between the flamethrowers um, That didn't work out right there. I keep doing that I don't know if that's me or my iPad, but I keep throwing ridiculous smokes um, In the wrong direction. So next we'll go in this direction guys. We kind of cheated. We just like cut through half the base, but um it, it does actually somewhat work if you can get uh, if you can get the Zookas in line. So next up, we'll go kind of this way towards this rock launcher, and it's really tough to get around these um, shock mines, but that should be fine, guys. That should be fine. So we'll get the Zookas up like this, and then we'll flare onto the HQ. Uh, I'm gonna hit a ton of shock mines, but that's okay. Um, all right, the flamethrowers are just saying hello. We'll uh, we'll shock. We won't shock any of the shock launchers. Um, and we'll get roasted. So great start, great start. Uh, big applause for the chicken on that one, guys. That was a fantastic showing of the of the Zuka maze. Um, I just did it before pretty easily, and it actually looked kind of cool. So it's like, oh, we'll we'll uh, we'll start the video off with this. This will be great, but uh, apparently not. Do we seriously have Zukas behind the rock launchers that are like not in the in the way at all? That is ridiculous. I love these Blackguard bases, it's so much fun. Let's put Dr. Caveman out just to get roasted, just for fun, just to celebrate. We'll throw an artillery on him too, take that, uh, Dr. Caveman. But, uh, but yeah, big shout out to these four Zookas that kind of saved the day there. That was pretty interesting to see. Um, that uh, that was the plan. That was, yeah, that, the whole idea is to get the a very small, minuscule uh, amount of Zookas behind those rock launchers. So let's do one more crazy uh, base builder base. Now, I know I said I was going to try your guys' bases out today, but uh, I went into the builder, like, just now, and I, I can't find a way to search for other people's bases, so I'm sure it's probably as simple as just, uh, like, typing into a search bar somewhere, but I, I don't see it anywhere. Featured bases, um, download Boom Beach, try the base builder, uh, I don't see anywhere to search, so you see here, I go to gallery. It was the same thing when I signed in before, uh, too. I know I'm not signed in right now, but I don't know. I couldn't find where to do it, so let's uh, let's find some... Let's find a kind of ridiculous base here. Oh my god, look at that one with the rock launchers and the boom cans. That looks disgusting. Um, we got a tree base here. Um, there's lots of, like, these GBE bases, but I don't know. I don't find them really that fun to attack. That This is a, this is a nice one here, Shady Beach. That, 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 this took a lot of work to make, guys, so... Um, how do I go back now? Do I hit gallery again? But yeah, that 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 took a ton of work, man. Like one HQ at level one, like right in the middle of the island, exactly where it spawns. Like, you can tell some people put a lot of effort into these, eh? Okay, um, let's hurry up and find one here, I guess, guys. Um, that one look, doesn't even look like it has anything on it. Um, let's just go back to the top, I guess, and. I want to try that one that had all the rock launchers and boom cans. That looked pretty interesting for sure. So, uh, let, let's take a look at this one, guys. Look at this. This is just nuts. Um, rock launchers, boom cans, and, and chalk launchers. So, pray for the chicken, guys. Pray for the chicken. This should be very interesting. So, we got the base started up. Um, so, people were asking me yesterday how you actually get into the base builder. And, I mean, I just did it there. So, it should be a pretty straightforward explanation, I guess. Um, so, we'll take out... How do we want to go at this from? I think I want to sit on this side. Because I want, um, I want the, I want to sit in as many no fire zones of rock launchers that I can. So we'll take out this. Um, now I can't afford to use critters at all here, because then I'm gonna lose my delay, and I really can't afford to lose any of my delay, because uh, that's gonna be like the only way that I can take this down. All right, so we'll start off like this. We'll get two smokes out, nice and wide. 
And I'm not actually going to... I'm not actually going to bring Dr. Uh, Kavon in at all. Okay, we just lost all the delay right there. So, this is probably done with unless we can get really, really lucky here, guys. So, just pray for the chicken in the chat down in the comments there. Uh, okay, so we're getting roasted right off the bat. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually use any of our shocks here. Uh, the critters are going to be huge. The critters are going to be huge. They could actually save us here. So, we're, we got uh, the critters going out like this. Shock, shock, shock. Medkit's down, guys. Medkit's down. One and two. One more shot. Anybody, come on. Okay. Alright, so we got roasted there. So, big shout out to uh, Shaw Q U. I forget what your name was, man. But, uh, big shout out. Big shout out. Alright, so we got stage five Dr. Terror loaded up here, guys. I thought I just took down stage five. Hmm. Could be more bugs, guys. Could be more bugs. But, uh, I thought I was just gonna do stages six and seven. But you see, I have Dr. Uh, Kavon, Dr. Caveman loaded up with the uh, with the Troop Revival ability. And I just wanted to play around with it a little bit here. And see, like, obviously it's not going to be great for Zookas, but... I don't know, I just wanted to see what it's going what, what to look like, uh, more or less. So he's going to pop out there. And then we're going to double smoke across like this. Let's actually hit his ability under the smoke and see what it does. So he spawns one Rifleman. Uh, or... Okay, that's cool. It looks like it, it spawns out of that circle, so let's actually use it again, just as, like, purely as a distraction for the Zookas. That actually kind of worked. That actually kind of worked. It was weird, but, um, it's like, y you know the witch from Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, how she has, like, a little circle radius, um, that she spawns skeletons from? It's kind of looks like that, but even with the witch, uh, the, the circle doesn't stay there when, when she, like, it moves with her, so... That was definitely interesting to see, so let's see if we can do that again, and um, maybe we can revive some Zookas here this time, which would be actually beneficial towards the raid, but I don't know, I kind of like the idea of um, of the good doctor staying behind and uh, just acting as like a meat shield with the extra riflemen, so I think that would be pretty interesting to see um, if that could actually like come and have any sort of effect uh, right here. So let me know down in the comments too, guys, if you're having... Um, Success using uh, Dr. Caveman with any like different uh, troops that aren't necessarily something um, That most people know about or have seen at this point yet definitely interested to uh, to see that guys So we're gonna get the smokes going up like this um, They're going in a bit of a wonky kind of line here, but it should work out fine I think I'm just gonna need one smoke when we get on the, to uh, when we get on to the HQ guys, so that's uh, um, I, I don't know if dr. Uh, Caveman is actually gonna stay here for us. Okay, so that that was a really crazy spread So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out a ton of, uh, of Rifemen and see if that actually helps us at all um, So unfortunately so many my Zookas popped out there that it, it was kind of pointless um, And the Rifemen that he did spawn just like instantly went down. So that was a pretty brutal attack, but uh, I Don't know. Hopefully we can uh, we can clear that up a little bit back 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 We have the hole back in chicken's head. I think guys we are in a black hole in space um but we won't worry about that. We will get into stage seven here in a second. We got one crystal, one crystal so far. And let's take a second, guys. Let's take a second and see if we can uh, do anything on our map here. So again, uh, to upgrade Dr. Kavon, just make sure that you go online before the timer runs out because if the timer runs out, then he just goes back to his original level. I think it's actually doing that right now for all upgrades. I saw someone, the poor bastard, he upgraded uh, Scorchers to max level which was 8 million gold, or it was to level 8, I think. It was 8 million gold, and he logged on when it was finished, and they didn't upgrade. So that really sucks, because that would take a long time. But apparently, if you message in-game support, then they fix it for you. So maybe it's not as big a deal as people are making it out to be. But uh, you see right here, guys, I threw on uh, the full boost for tribe level 4 to 5 on the gold reward. And it's basically like I have an extra resource reward statue which is, that just works purely for gold, which is really cool. Uh, I really like that a lot because you can see right here when I go into, uh, when I when I look at stage 7, you can see the, the boosted gold that I'm getting, plus 132,000. That's nothing to scoff at, guys. So I think that's pretty neat. That's definitely the ability that uh, I like using the most for Dr. Caveman right now. And um, yeah, let's see what we can get done here on stage 7, guys. Um, obviously, like I said, true revival ability. Don't use it like I'm doing right now. This is just kind of goofing around. Um seeing if we can get him to like stay it's kind of like when i was trying to get uh, the everspark critter critter swarm to to work as a meat shield it doesn't really work that well um like on paper it sounds like kind of an interesting idea but actually doing it is a completely other thing so i'm probably gonna have to take out these mines here i'm thinking um 
Let's get uh, let's get most of the Zookas up under smoke. I, I didn't need to do that, I guess. Uh, Dr. Caveman, I guess, has plans of his own here to just kind of heal himself and just stand there. Um, so hopefully he can get... Th there's no way I can damage the Zookas enough to get him to actually just sit there properly. Um, so they're going to peek like that. So let's go something like this, and we'll throw a couple of melt... Throw a couple melt kits down. I don't know why I always want to say melt kits instead of med. It's because I like mix the word med kit and health kit, and I just say melt kit. I don't know, guys. I don't know. So that didn't work at all. Would not advise using the strategy. But uh, for scorches and tanks, for tank medic, for all tanks, for smoky tanks, troop revival is like pretty uh, pretty helpful for sure. Um, so we got one crystal and we got one intel there. Back, back, back. So. That's basically all I wanted to talk about today, guys. So definitely let me know a couple things down in the comments. Um, if you use Troop Revival for anything, um, let me know that. Um, or Troop Revival, Second Wind, I guess is what it's actually called. So let me know if you use this for anything. And also, please let me know how to uh, how to search for other people's bases on the Blackguard Builder, if that's even a thing. And I'm, I'm still holding out onto this boat because I'm not sure. I want to take the resources from it, actually, so I can upgrade stuff on the Crystal Mine. But... Um, I guess we'll take the stone, right? We'll take the stone, and then we'll see if we can uh, we can convert that into 100 gems. And with that, we can boost up something else. But uh, I'm just going to hold on to the gems for now, guys. And, uh, and yeah, so let me know all that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out.